hello everyone how are you and welcome to another video on react native course so in today's video we will learn how we can uh, implement sign in with google using firebase okay so first step will be you have to go inside your uh, sign in methods and here you need to add a new provider and this provider will be google and you need to enable it and uh, then you have to scroll down add your gmail over here and then scroll down a little bit more and save it ok so after that you need to download the google service json and google service info.plist one more time again so i will download both these two files again because when we enable sign in with google the uh, json file uh, updated and we need to uh, set the updated files in our project so first of all we will go inside the android and uh, we will go inside the app here you can find google service json and we will replace it with the new one so replace okay now you need to go inside your ios folder so we'll go inside our ios folder and here you can find google service info.plist file and you need to up replace that with the new one okay so now guys we will uh, what we will do we will uh, stop our metro bundler and run our project again so yarn android ok guys so after that you need to reconnect your dev tool also so go inside the dev tool press on the reconnect dev tool so it will be reconnected now we will go inside our login screen ok guys so in this screen we have a button sign in with google so we will go inside this button component sign in with google and on this on press i will trigger a function called uh, uh, google sign in ok something like that google sign in and we will create a function above so I will create a async function over here okay. now guys uh, in this what we need first of all we will uh, first of all we will uh, try we will use try catch so in our previous video guys we use the function and we use uh, then and catch okay now in this video we will use a simple different logic so i will use try and catch okay so inside the catch error will come and it will fall in this particular area so in try guys we will try to sign in with the google what you need is the auth that we need when we are performing this uh, sign in with email and password so const auth is equal to get auth by firebase now guys after that we will uh, need one more package we need to install one more package so we will again go in the react native react native firebase ok we will go to this documentation we will go inside the usage and in the usage in the bottom you will find this google sign in ok now guys in google sign in what you need you need to uh, install this package so we will copy this inside our chrome and uh, after that we will say react native to search this package and then uh, we will go inside this 
documentation you will open the github link and here you will find the instructions so go to the new documentation site available okay now you can see the installation over here so for the installation guys you need to run the command um, this yarn add react native google sign in and this so you need to copy that and you need to first of all we will close our metro bundler and we will add this package okay guys so now our package is installed let's run our application yarn android okay okay friends so our build is successful now we will reconnect our dev tool okay reconnect and you can see the application over here now we will go inside our uh, code once again you need google sign in this so this will come from the package we just install google sign in and uh, dot config configure okay in this configure file we have to provide a object so i will say offline access will be false second is web client id so guys web client id is the uh, is come from firebase i will make uh, this web client client id okay so this so how you can get the web client id it is very simple so go to inside your uh, firebase console and go press on this edit icon okay and uh, here you can find this is your web client id so i will copy this and uh, i will paste this thing inside my environment file because you don't need to hard code this id as well so i will copy this string and i will name firebase web client id for this okay and this like this and i will save this and uh, after that i will import that thing so import this from uh, um, at the rate at the rate env okay so this is how you can import any uh, any value any key value from uh, your environment okay now we will uh, we i provide this firebase over here okay so we already talk about environment in my previous video how you can uh, get the data for environment how you can set up your environment okay to secure your uh, keys okay okay guys now i will uh, i first of all i will save before saving this i will provide scopes for that so in a scope i will provide profile and email okay now i will save this okay now we get no error okay so this is how you can configure your uh, google sign in okay now after that guys what you need to do is to we will use google google sign in dot has play services okay so we will get the play services okay and we will wait for the play services to load and after that we will make another const of uh, i will call it sign in result sign in result await from google sign in dot sign in so what happened a pop-up will come okay in which your emails are mentioned and when you click it you will get the sign in result like what 
id that user is trying to sign in using his gmail after that guys we will get the id token of uh, that particular sign in so we will use uh, sign in result dot um, data and data dot id token okay and after that i will make uh, another const of google credentials so now google will give us credentials of the user of the gmail from which the user sign in so we will say google auth provider dot credential so three credential credential and in the credential guys you will uh, pass the id token okay so this is how you can get uh, the use uh, google credentials so after that guys you need to do one more things that uh, now we get the uh, now we will try to get the user user credentials okay so user credentials and uh, user credentials will be equal to await okay await sign in sign in with credential sign in with credential and uh, here you will here guys you will pro provide auth and the uh, second thing you will provide is google credentials okay now after that when we get this uh, user credential we will get user information from that so user is equal to user credentials dot user okay now i will console dot log that uh, sign in sign in with google google success success and uh, i will also print the information of uh, the user just sign in so i will pass user over here and if any error come we will catch that inside the error okay so i will show the error i will copy this thing and paste it over here and uh, in this i will remove these these two things so i will provide uh, uh, google sign in uh, error occurred error occurred okay and uh, i will provide the description unable to sign in unable to sign in okay something like that and uh, for this google sign in error okay so to handle the error okay guys so now all our things are ready now we need to test it so when i uh, press this sign in with google now you can see this pop up and uh, here all the emails will pop up that you already sign in in your android device and when i click on this any specific device so let's see our uh, let's see this okay so now sign in with google success and guys you can see the uh, information of the user and all other things you can get get it from here okay and uh, i will also show you uh, if you go to your users you will find this inside the google user section also so here you can find this that this user is sign in with google with this icon okay and this is his email so we successfully implemented sign in with google in our this video and this is it for today's video i hope you like it if you like it hit the 
hit the like button don't forget to subscribe the channel and i will see you guys in the next one till then take care and have a good day